are with uh, Robert Garcia, Big Dave San Antonio. They're honoring uh, Bam Rodriguez and Joshua Franco. How do you feel about the turnout and how everything was? You know what? It's not what I expected, honestly, man. So many people showed up, man. Like three hours of nonstop. People wanted to take a picture and uh, autograph, you know, from uh, Josh and, and, and Bam, you know, both world champions from San Antonio. It, it's unbelievable, man. The love and support that they're getting here, here in, their, in their hometown. Now, you got two world champions, both at 115. Now, it's kind of up, it's kind of up in the air what Bam's gonna do. He may he may move down, but if a big fight presents itself, you know he may stay at 115. Now they're talking about Estrada. Uh, Estrada is a very underrated fighter on pound for pound list. How do you like that fight between Estrada and Joshua Franco? You know what? Uh, it's not an easy fight. Obviously, you know Guy Estrada has been ranked uh, in, in the pound for pound list for a couple years already, and he's a great fighter, but. Uh, but Josh, Josh is hungry, he's young, and I know he'll do whatever it takes to win this fight. And, uh, you know, it's already a mandatory, so it has to happen uh, next. So Maxim is already trying to put that fight together sometime in May or June. And they're, they're actually looking into San Antonio to make to uh, making that fight happen here in San Antonio. And uh, obviously if that happens, well, we're definitely going to have uh, Bam defend his title on the undercard. Or uh, fight for a 108 or 112 title. But he will be on the undercard. How, how did the Bam Rodriguez versus Carlos Guardas fight come about? Because it was, it was he took it, I think, what, what seven, ten days notice. And Bam, he campaigns at, at, at 108. And this fight was at 115. And Carlos Guardas is a very good fighter. He's not a, you know, he's not an easy guy. Was there any hesitation to take that fight? Or, were, you know, did you take it in a heartbeat? You know, on Sunday before the fight, when they called me, there was no no doubt in my mind that, uh, that Bam is... is is ready to become world champion, so I took the fight right away. I didn't even have to get an answer from from uh, from Bam. Uh, I, I told the promoters, yes, let's make that fight happen. They told me, are you sure? I said, yes, make that fight make that fight happen, because you know I know Quadras, I know Quadras personally. He's a veteran, great fighter, great speed and great power. But I know what I know what what Bam is. Bam is ready to become world champion, so I took the fight right away. I knew there was no way Bam, Bam was going to lose uh, this title opportunity, uh, even though I knew the fight was difficult and, and uh, you know tough. But I, I knew what what Bam had done in, the tra in, in training, and he was ready to fight anybody.